it helps when your friends already notch text before you so you already know what date it is <laughs> and you guys thank you ross from crazy elk this is the first time i'm putting your tag wallet to use this year so i'm very excited let's go put this thing on a turkey well, I'm, actually the only thing we're only seeing three <laughs> we're gonna need a bigger log for all these fans We're just turning it off. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I need to, but I'm not shooting no more, so. I want to say 10. Yeah, 10.07 in the morning. So we shot a steez bird just down the valley. We hiked up this ridge, sat here, called. They were gobbling right above us, maybe 400-ish yards or so. Two gobbles, two birds, that was it. It went silent. I don't know if they saw us. They might have saw us when we were scrambling back, but the sun's high and no birds are really talking. So we're just kind of, I'm, I'm just giving a little bit of time. And then 20 minutes or so, we're just gonna pack up and we're, we're just gonna walk this road and just locate, see if we can strike up another bird. And then we're just gonna head back to camp eventually.
Sorry, Nate. Okay. He was gonna spook. He was gonna book it. Yeah, he saw us. He, he yeah. His head up. He, he was turning. He was, he was about to book it. Nice work, Simone. I think Simone, you're tagged out, dude. I'm tagged out. It's all on you now, Nate. You're That's the, the nicest fan I've seen. He's a he's a very beautiful bird. When he popped out over there, I saw him. I've seen him for like two minutes. I was like, I wanted when I was gonna about to reposition to over there. Uh huh. Because my only shooting lane was like seven feet far of this decoy, and I was sitting here. I'm like. The hen's gonna come suss it out. Yeah. <sighs> gonna spook. And that's exactly what happened. Dude, I didn't. I saw the hen. Look at him. Yeah, yeah, I saw the hen come up, and the next thing I saw, the hen was right in front of us. Yeah. And I'm like, no, and don't she do started this. Pucking him yeah. Like, as soon as she put, yeah. I, I was just observing this Tom to see what he was doing. As soon as he put his fan down, he started turning around. I was like, Nate, I'm gonna shoot him. <sighs> dang it. Well, dang it, but yes. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> So you guys, originally the plan was for Nate, because basically we all got a burden out, Nate was shooter first again. So we had him put up for an archery shot, and Simone was a backup shooter, and something went wrong. This bird is probably one of the most gorgeous birds I've ever shot. When he came out, like, this is like the definition of a Merriam. When you think of Easterns, and Merriams, and Rio Grandes, and all the other species of turkeys, Merriams, those white tips, that's what they're known for. This is a true resemblance of what a Merriam is. He's got a super long beard. I, t I shot two nice long beards today. But I'm tagged out. Steve's tagged out. So next time, if Nate doesn't have a shot, then that turkey's getting away. But this is a... I'm, I'm tickled. I really am. I just... And like, I'm happy, but at the back of my mind, I'm just like, I wish Nate would have shot him. But it just wasn't the right situation, I guess. Just gonna make my guns unload. My guns unloaded. I'm not kidding. I think that's the most beautiful Merriam I've seen. He's he's a true resemblance of a Merriam. This Tom just has one of the most beautiful feather layout that I've ever had the pleasure of taking. And you can just look at the sunshine and the rainbow. And you know, he's a heavy bird too. But this guy doesn't have much for spurs. He's just got uh, little nubs, but. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate you. Got the turkey in the load shelf, packed up and back on our way to camp. The only one that has a tag for now is just Nate, so he's gonna try and get it done with the bow. Hopefully we can make it to camp without being interrupted by turkeys again. But this is an unreal day out here. Three turkeys today. This is one of the best days I've had of turkey hunting for sure. So I've got two beautiful long beards and Steve has one and Nate has one and we're just gonna put all our time and focus onto Nate's second bird for now. Hiking back to camp. Sure. Let's just find a way to go down. Well, I think this is, this is saying we're now on this new road. Okay. Where does this road go? I think this road goes down. Right? Oh, I don't think I've ever done such a pad with a turkey. Well, after about eight hours of hiking and two turkeys later, we just got back to camp and got all settled down. And a gobbler started going off. So <laughs> we got our stuff back on and we're going back out because we got one more tag to fill. Yeah, I'm not even joking. We just got back to camp. There's my turkey right down there. I was just trying to get him on rigor mortis so that we can take a photo and there's a gobbler that just gobbled from where we came from. So we're gonna try to put Nate on this bird and try to pull the fourth one for the day. There's birds everywhere back here. So we know of, so we took three today and we know of a minimum of eight other gobblers that are still running around. There's no shortage of turkeys back in here.
Yeah. Because he, he couldn't see my decoy, so he was looking up here. Because this was where the call was coming from. That's why I stopped calling after a while. But the reason why I kept calling him, because I knew he didn't see the decoy. So I was like, I, I needed him to get to the road Keep to going. see the decoy. Yeah, so that's why I kept, I, that's why I had to call. Got you. Yeah, because when he got to the middle of the road and he put his fan down, he was about to book it. Nice bird. That was a good bird. Yeah, I saw, dude, I watched him through the I binos the whole time. A, almost a 90 degree block. So that when yeah. they come in, they're yeah. a complete 90. We got some processing to do with the turkeys. So there's Nate's bird, there's Steve's bird, and there's my two birds. So we're actually over here. We're gonna set up some paracord so we can hang the birds because these trees here aren't the best for hanging all four birds in one tree. So we're gonna get to do some work and take some photos and stuff like that and just enjoy our time here. We're just chilling back at camp, got all the meat taken care of. I didn't bring a spoon, so that is my spoon. Just a piece of wood. We're back to trying out dehydrated meals. I've tried peak refuel before, but I've never tried this particular meal right here. This is home style chicken and rice. Never had it before. But we're just gonna eat this. And you gonna go roost later? Hmm? You gonna go roost later? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna go roost and then we'll probably come back here can chill by the campfire and then Maybe eat with some more food hit the sack and then shoot a bird tomorrow morning and fill Nate's final tag and then bike on out of here, but One heck of a trip so far. So I really appreciate you guys joining along, but It's not over yet. So it's a little dry Looks good yeah, that's that's good. Maybe because I'm just hungry. I've yet to eat a bad dehydrated meal from Peak Refuel. Really? really? Yeah. What? I don't remember. Something I took up to beehive when me and my wife went with it. Oh. Not very good. Well, I don't know what Steve had, but this, do I recommend it? Yes, I do. Yo, I'm not taking these M&Ms home either. You brought a lot of M&Ms. I did. 